like one of the great scholars of recent times, he says, he says when Rasulullah left this dunya, he did not leave any structures behind. He didn't leave any books behind. He didn't leave any statues behind. Rather what he left was 10,000 men that he carved Quran in their hearts, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he smiled because he knew that I can leave and these men will carry on my mission. He left men like Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, my brothers, the greatest man to walk the earth after the prophets and the messengers. A man whom he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says to his sahaba, he says, I presented Islam to every one of you and every one of you buckled except Abu Bakr, he accepted that immediately. He says, every one of you did me a favor and I paid back that favor. Except for Abu Bakr, I physically cannot pay him back. Allah will pay him back on the day of judgment. He ordered every door to his masjid to be closed except the door of Abu Bakr. He says for you, ya Abu Bakr, the eight doors of Jannah will beg for you to walk in through them. It was men like Abu Bakr who made Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam smile. When Omar said, today I will beat Abu Bakr. He comes to the Prophet of Allah. He says, a Prophet of Allah, I come to you today and I bring you half my wealth. He says, Omar, what did you leave for your family? He says, a Prophet of Allah, I left the other half for my family. Then Abu Bakr walks in. He says, a Prophet of Allah, today I come, with, I come to you with all my wealth. You see, my brothers, because we are people of dunya, this is what impresses us. The fact he came with all his wealth, but by Allah, this is not what made Rasulullah smile. What made him smile was when he asked Abu Bakr, if you've come with all your wealth, what did you leave for your family? He said, I left Allah and his prophet. Then he smiled. Because he knows Abu Bakr now has reached the level, khalas, he's there. He's walking on dunya, but by Allah, he's already in Jannah.